my lips are so thin. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to a new video. My name is Walker, and today I'm gonna tell you how to get strong and fat lips. So this way you're not gonna have thin and weak lips anymore. And as always, remember to leave a like and put any comment. I don't care what comment you put. Just press the keyboard like this and just comment that. But this creates more engagement. The videos go better. I get more motivated and I make more videos. So here we have the lids of my song out of my head. And no, you don't need to have seven, eight, or nine lids. Maybe you can have two or three, and it sounds good. But right now, without the processing, they sound like this. If you want to have a strong, big and fat lids, in my opinion, you need to think on three things. The first one is a sound selection. Of course, you need to choose sounds that you like and that sounds as you want to sound, of course. But I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about what kind of sounds you're choosing. For example, you're making big room or high style or pricey or whatever genre you're making and you choose a lot of the tune sounds. It's gonna sound weak because the tune sound is a sound that, yeah, is so good, it covers a lot of space, it sounds big, but if all of them are like this, there's not gonna be any strength. But at the same time, if all your lids are not the tune, probably also it's gonna sound a bit thin or a bit weak. So what's my advice to combine both? For example, here I have this lid that is not the tune at all and this one that is super the tune. Or this one that is not that the tune and this one that is a bit more the tune. And why I'm doing this? Because with the tune sounds, you're creating a strength. You're making those sounds to be a bit closer to you, to be a bit more in your face. But then with the tune sound and super sauce, you're making it sound fuller, sounds bigger, it covers more space. So if you combine both, you're gonna have both things, a clear and in your face sounds, but also a lot of space. The second thing to make your lid sound strong and fat is to cover the entire stereo spectrum. If you only have lids in your sides or only in the center, it's gonna sound so thin, so weak, no fullness. Because if you only have lids in your sides, the center is gonna be empty. And if you have only lids in the center, the sides are gonna be empty. So what I like to do is to have one sound that usually is the not the tune sound that is mono and then from there i'm choosing sounds a bit wider a bit wider a bit wider a bit wider so as you can see here i work with the mono stereo knob to do what i said so if we check this lead as you can see, it's the not the tune one and it's in the center so it's way it creates more strength there the next one that is a bit wider is this then we have this a bit wider then this one then i would say this a bit wider a bit wider, a bit wider, and then the one more stereo is this one. So this way I make sure between the center and the sides there's always sound. I don't have only one lid in the center, one lid in the side, and then between them is empty. This, this would sound weird. So make sure to do this, get one lid mono, then a, one a bit wider, a bit wider, a bit wider, a bit wider, and one in the sides. This way you cover the entire stereo spectrum. And the third thing you need to focus on are the frequencies. You need to make sure that you cover all the frequencies. Of course, not the sub bass that is not needed in the leads. Right now, this lid sound like this. And maybe you want really high leads, but what happens if you put every lead really high? Like we take this one, we make it higher. Now this one, we put it also higher. And basically we do the same with all the leads. We make them higher because we want high leads. Now it's gonna sound like this. A lot of you have this problem that you want really high leads, you make this, and now it doesn't sound good. You're not covering at all the mid frequencies. And if you check it in an EQ, you can easily see this. So you need to make sure that some leads are in one octave higher, other leads are one octave lower. So it's where you're covering all the octave and all the frequencies. Just check the difference. As you can see, the difference is huge and the higher ones don't have any strength at all. They are really thin. They are super high, they're not covering the mid frequencies and sounds empty. And an extra tip is that sometimes you can use noise sounds to cover the top frequencies. Of course, it's just an extra touch, but it helps. When you finish focusing on these three things, the sound selection, you chose the tune and not the tune sounds. The stereo, you make sure you have sounds in the center, in the sides and between them. And you make sure you're covering all the frequencies and all the octaves. Now you're gonna start with the processing to make them sound even better. For the processing of this, so simple, I choose all of them, Control, Shift, Click and Drag. Right click here, rotate this track only. And now here you created the bus. And if you chose the right sounds and you did everything I said, the processing now is so simple. The first thing I'm gonna have is an OTT. The way I use this is I just play it, of these bands and then lose the depth. Like this is good and now I just read the depth until I like it. Now I need here to make sure the sound is clean. The first thing I'm gonna do even if I did in the individual mixer channels is to have a low cut. I make sure there's nothing here. In this case I'm gonna lose a bit of the highs. Around here it sounds a bit dirty. And here there are some resonance.
maybe we a little bit also the mids to make them cleaner. Now I'm going to use a filter Saturn and here I just like to use best of basic saturator. I'm going to use a little bit here and maybe I'm going to use a band here. Basically what I want is a bit more high so I'm just going to not distort and I'm just going to control a little bit this, you know. But of course not that much, just a little bit before and after. Yeah, it makes it stand out a little bit more. Now just telemeter to control the peaks. Just a little bit, minus 3, minus 4 dBs. Then I'm gonna add this rear bus. It's nothing special, just have a delay before the rear because this way I create a bit more space. I have this reverb, it's quite long. I need you to make sure the reverb is clean. A limiter to control a little bit the peaks on the reverb. And then this fruity balance that is linked to this peak controller on the dry signal that is making reduce the volume a little bit. One last thing that I do to make the lid sound fat and also to control them is to send the dry signal and the reverb to one last bus. Basically in this last bus sometimes I use a bit extra OTT. Make sure you don't have too much meat because otherwise it's gonna sound a bit loose, not tight. And then just the EQ because here it sounds a bit dirty. If we increase this you're gonna hear it. And then this last one is also really important. I just have here to cut one resonance, but this is really important. What they do is basically they do a low cut, they go like this. Until it loses all the strength. And now I put it on side. This way what I'm doing is cutting all the sides in these frequencies. Why do I want to do this? Because the mid-low frequencies are going to give a lot of warmth to leads and are going to make them sound a bit heavier and a bit fuller. And just because of personal taste, I like them to be more in the center than in the sides. Because I realized, at least for me, when they are in the sides, it sounds a bit more dirty. But when they are in the mids, they give a strength to them. So well, guys, this is basically how you can make your leads sound fuller and fatter and avoid weak and thin leads. The processing is just an extra thing to make them sound a bit better but what you need to focus in the first three things they said sound selection making sure you cover the entire stereo spectrum and all the frequencies and octaves so nothing else guys thank you so much for watching this video as always thank you so much to all these people here for supporting me being patreon members if you want to be a patreon member and you want a lot of help from me down below the description you have the link with all the information and now you can just go and watch a video i have about layering where i focus in all things so this way if you combine both videos you can have it perfectly so nothing else guys thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video